Now we welcome to the studio Josh Cronfeld. <laughs> Come on, everybody. <laughs> you watched that England game, I know, because you talked <laughs> about it in the game. It was room. the most fantastic game of penalties I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was tit for tat. Scoring penalties. That's right. what that's what Argentina loved to do. Buffelli had like 25 points. But it doesn't get any easier for England because they've got Japan next, oh. which is the Jamie Joseph game from last week that he referenced <laughs> when he talked down the All Blacks, which was great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and they'll have a plan. They'll have a plan. They'll, they would have seen what they've seen there, and they'll have a plan. Like it was it was a crazy game. Like Argy was just constantly oh. getting in on their tackle ball, and and so they never ever England never got England. Got, got their front foot going. Mm. And RG scored a couple of lovely tries, you know? They're, they're just growing and growing. Looking forward to the World Cup. So, well, like, world rugby at the moment, unbelievable. I know everyone can have a cry about whatever consistency. But, but I mean, how good's this? RG beat England, RG beat us, Japan nearly beat us, we smash Wales. You just don't know what's going on. I can't get, get round a black England either. Yeah. <laughs> but Jersey England, it doesn't, doesn't make a sense. It doesn't, doesn't make any sense. Quite weird. But do you see do you see cracks in England's game because you know they will feel like it's in their part of the world where the World Cup is. France, obviously, they just got past Aussie. But England, I don't know. Eddie Jones has he lost his gloss a little bit? Do you think? He's lost something. Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's out to lunch on that interview. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I wonder what his wife's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's move on. She's just, thinking, of, she's just thinking, I wonder if he brushed his teeth this morning. <laughs> well, let's go breakfast. <laughs> that very feeling. Um, Josh, tell me about the form of Artie Savia and what you liked about his game and uh, how illegal he has been playing at the moment. <laughs> illegal? In a good way. Uh, look, I just love his energy. I mean, that's what he's bringing. You know, uh, he's leading by example. Every time he gets the ball, he's wanting to go forward. He's excited by what he does, you know, and, it, and he's got a real energy. And that's, I think it's sort of kicking on over to the rest of the guys. And that's what you want from your, from your leaders. Everyone's saying that that's the biggest dummy they've ever seen on an all-black game oh. since you were playing. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't even try, bro. I never threw dummies like that, bro. <laughs> that is hard. Bro, I'm waiting for him to wind up like he does and accidentally let go of it. Because <laughs> he's throwing it so hard. You know, like, um, I, look... When I look at Artie Severe, and if I was playing against him, I know that he's never going to pass. So you never... How do you go for that sort of dummy? Well, like the commentator said, us here in, in New Zealand know that. But I guess he hasn't probably done it too much on the international stage. You talk about Artie just energy getting in there, blah, 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 and it, it filled over to the rest of the squad. How good was our pack? Yeah, look, um, like, I watched that game and thought, am I watching South Africa? You know, like we were playing one-off rucks. Do you mean that in a good way? Uh, look, uh, look, I think we had a plan of how we were going to play Wales. You know, we've done our homework, and in that one-off or two, two-off uh, hitting rucks and mini rucks and pick and go, um, we decided that was what was going to work. But we hardly used our backs at all, really. Mm. You know, we had individual stuff in our backs, but did we formulate stuff from our backs? No, it was all done from the forwards. This is probably the strongest team, well, arguably the strongest team we've seen. Did you like this team? Did you like the makeup of it? Oh, I, I think it's got it's got arm and legs to grow. Mm. Uh, I think it was really one-dimensional. Um, we kicked well this weekend, mm. and it was accurate kicking. Um, and I think that put us all on the front foot for what we wanted to do. Um, can we grow from where we are? I think we need to. You know. So suddenly now it looks like, because England, uh, you know, all due respect to Scotland, England was going to be the hardest test on this on this tour. It looks like now we we look like a team that is on the same page and can play them at their own game, and they've tried to do that rush defence and at times been very successful against the All Blacks. Multiple teams have. We're now playing that game, but that World Cup winning style, the the three knockout games in a row, and this is the blueprint, right? We we're seeing it now form. I don't know if it's the blueprint yet. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, That's look, exciting. I, I, think, I think we've got to find there's there's got to be something more than just just what we've seen. Um, you know, that that was pretty one-dimensional rugby. Um, don't get me wrong, some of the tries, you know, the kicking for the corners, that's but that's using our skill sets. But I, I'm not seeing phase play where we're actually running moves. We're just giving it to someone to do something and then we react off it. And, you know, like, when you look at other teams and the teams that are being successful at beating teams that they shouldn't beat, 
um, they're actually running moves in phase play. And I think, and that's where I would love to get. And we've got talent to burn. Is Jordi oh, R12? Is, is he R12? <laughs> you were going to ask that. Uh, <laughs> well, he doesn't look bad there. That was great, doesn't he? Uh, he doesn't look bad there. Um, but there was a few moments defensively. Um, but I don't know. Let's, let's watch his space. I don't know. I'm not, not 100%. I don't like playing people out of their position. He's a fantastic fullback. And I love seeing him do what he does back there. And um, so at second five, is there better second fives in the country? Maybe. I don't know. Well, he I'm, played I'm curious to see super them. season. So I like, know, is it I know, out of position? I know, but it, yeah. you know, like his position, he's always been a fullback. Let's know. just quickly talk about the All Blacks 15 because you said we've got talent to burn. Mm. What's your thoughts on the kind of interchange? TJ uh, coming in, Brad it's out. bright, isn't it? You know, like uh, previously it was a, like a midweek team when you went on to these tours. Yeah. So you'd have they'd be playing a midweek game. And, but So there was no gap for recovery. Now they've set it up, oh, we're going to take a separate team, have separate coaches, and they'll all be talking to coaches and making sure that everybody's on the same, you know, wavelength in terms of how they're playing rugby. And, um, and it's a chance for the guys to be getting regular footy, and if they need to, they just fly them over, get them on board, and they are game fit. They're ready to go. You know, it's, it's a fantastic concept, and it gives you a, a real opportunity because you're playing with the same guys week in, week out to, to actually put your uh, stamp mm. at, of who your personality is on the game in your team. And if it's enough and the, and the big selectors go, wow, we like that, yeah. come on over, boy. You've got a chance. <laughs> it's a short okay. flight. The crowd goes wild.